I might have just created the hardest server ever in Minecraft. In this server, players only have one heart, and the world is also in hardcore mode, which means if a player dies, they get banned forever. The challenge was to see who could survive the longest, and the player who was last standing would ultimately win. Welcome to One Heart Hardcore Minecraft. We all spawned in in the middle of a desert, but luckily there was a village there, and we collected some food, got some wood, typical Minecraft stuff. For now, it was just me and my friend Fernando, and we decided to go look for a nice base location in order to be safe from the mobs, cause one hit, and it was all over. We found this nice cave, and we decided that we could easily make a hole in the mountain and live there, because we didn't have enough time to make a house. I also had to be very careful of accidental fall damage, because one wrong move, and it could all be over. I began making our safety hole, and while it might be kind of ugly, it was practical because it meant that mobs would not one-shot us from the back, out of nowhere. Because it, it does happen, uh, as you will see later. But as the rest of the players started showing up, the base started to look a little bit more prettier. Pre pretty? 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 Prettier? But you know what I mean. Anyway, all the players on the server were finally together, which meant we can actually start making some progress now. And by that, I mean mining coal without dying. Yep. Our little hole had actually managed to become a home, and it looks pretty nice. Since everybody was too scared to go outside, we decided to just collect resources underground and be safe for a while, but there was a few close calls. Since all the players were in a very small space, we could accidentally hit each other, and I was this close to being hit by Fernando. Luckily, everything went fine, we collected a bunch of resources, and it was time to go to sleep. For a quick moment, everything seemed pretty peaceful, even though we were surviving on a single heart in hardcore mode. That was until the next morning, where we had completely run out of wood, which meant we now had to go explore the outside and gather some materials. And that's when we first saw it. The mountain of... of um... um doom. doom. <coughs> yeah, yeah. At first I ignored the mountain and started collecting wood since it was the reason we were there, but my friends got the brilliant idea to go and explore the mountain of doom. <coughs> yeah, you gotta stop saying that. I had no idea what they were thinking, I mean, it was a one heart hardcore challenge after all, but they still decided to go through with it and go explore the mountain. I decided not to join them because I do value my own life, but I decided to make them a quick little bridge so they could hopefully come back safely. But eventually, tragedy struck. Poor Fernando had flown a bit too close to the oven, or, or, or the barbecue sauce, w one of the two. The mountain had claimed its first victim, and it surely wouldn't be the last. I immediately made it back to the base where it was actually safe, and not close to that really creepy mountain. I also want to make it clear that I unbanned Fernando and made him a spectator, because I still wanted him to experience the challenge with us, even though he was... <laughs> anyway, I wanted to get as many materials as possible to help out all the remaining players. But just as I was doing so, tragedy struck once again. ALA the boss, another player had died, and I don't know why I didn't even react, I continued mining coal for some reason, which, <laughs> looking back, I have no idea why. Anyway, it was just me and the rotten chicken now. After talking for a while, we decided that since both of our friends were gone, we had nothing left to lose, and we decided to go explore the mountain of doom the next morning. We woke up and we headed to the mountain. I carefully made it to the top, and the mountain had a great view from the other side of the mountain. I also looted the ruined nether portal, but I think it was already looted by Fernando. There really wasn't much to do up in the mountain, so I just mined a bit of iron and continued exploring. I actually found so much iron that I managed to make an entire set of iron armor. I mean, armor's pretty useless when you only have one heart, but it looks cool though. But then, the worst possible thing happened. The rotten chicken had died. I was now the last player standing. Even though I had won the challenge, what was the point if I couldn't celebrate with my friends? I had won, but at what cost? Get it? The Thanos reference? Yeah, 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 okay, I'll shut up. I had also lost track of time, and the sun had already started to set. Monsters were going to start spawning, but the idiot of me decided to go and get the rotten chickens' his items instead of going back to the base. 
I went to the edge of the mountain to see if I could somehow see the items. And then I realized just how deep this mountain really was. I got way too close to the ledge. And then, out of nowhere, I hear a zombie behind me. One hit from the zombie meant I would instantly die. But at the same time, if I missed this bucket, I would also die. There was only one option. <laughs> I'm sorry if the audio in this video sounded kind of weird. I'm currently sick, so I probably shouldn't be recording my voice, but I mean, I'm still making this video. Anyway, if you enjoyed, please consider checking out some of my other videos. See you in the next one.